Hello my little beauties, it's David Connolly here, the web developer extraordinaire. I'd like to say a little word or two about the problem with MVC. Um, MVC is of course a design pattern that is incredibly common in the web development universe. And the idea is basically that your work gets divided into three folders or three directories. So typically you'll have a directory called controllers and uh, you'll have another one called models and another one called views. Now I'm not going to just define all of that because I think if you're watching this video you've probably got an idea of what these do. Even though we might disagree on some finer points but we roughly know for example that view files uh, typically contain HTML and stuff like that, okay? Now, what's so bad about that? It's used all over the place. Even uh, Steve Jobs' team used MVC. and in, in fact, it's one of the reasons why it became so popular. And they were good, actually. They knew what they were doing. So, why on earth uh, should a guy like me I may a pawn in the game of web development life appear and tell you that there's things wrong with that. Well, actually, it's astonishingly simple, and this need not be a long video. Um, imagine that each of these three things are folders here, right? And imagine you've got a site that has a bunch of different features. Let's say you've got, for example, a contact form. Let's imagine you've got a discussion forum. Maybe you've got an online shop, maybe you've got a members area, whatever that is, and maybe you've got uh, an invoice generator, right? So you've got a site that's got all these different features, and inside this views folder, you're going to have all of the views for all of this stuff. Now, you may do some kind of separational thing and have subfolders in here that say things like, you know, contact views or something like that. Maybe you have a folder called forum views. I don't know. Um, I actually haven't seen anybody doing that, but I suppose it's hypothetically possible. But that doesn't solve the problem. The fact is that all of your views are going to be stuck there. And of course, up here, you're going to have all of the controller files. Okay, so all of the controller files for all of the stuff. Already you can kind of see the problem here, right? So the problem is that suppose you want to move your discussion forum or any of these features from one site onto another. Then, okay, here's your other site. It's below this dotted line, right? So now you have to go inside this and fish out the files that are relevant to whatever it is you're into, the forum. Then you have to transfer those across. Then you have to go into the views and fish out the view files that are relevant to that, transfer it across. Then you have to typically set it up, you know, it's a good few lines of code usually. And, of course, setting up the database and all of that stuff. But it it gets even worse than that. Let me explain why it gets even worse in a minute. Because I'd like to say a couple of words about the models folder. Now, you can see the problem with these two straight away. But when it comes to the models folder, this is kind of an interesting thing. Because what happens in the models folder is... Models folders typically repeat code over and over again. That's what they do. Because if you think about, I mean, okay, there, there are different, okay, oh geez. I don't want to go off on one here, but there's a little bit of a disagreement, I think it's safe to say, on how models should be used, right? Uh, for example, Let's imagine that you're building an app that calculates somebody's salary, okay? There are some developers who say that the controller should query the model and then 
perhaps the model's going to do a database query and then it's going to add on tax and everything like that and add on a Christmas bonus and then return the wage to the controller. There's a lot of developers who would do things that way. There are other developers, myself included, who would strictly just use the models for fetching data, specifically database data, you know? Now, if you fall into the second camp, like me, then this is all just repeating code over and over and over again. But if you fall into the first camp, well, there's a good chance that you're still going to be repeating some code. And in fact, I don't really think that it's necessary to have a models folder all over the place. I think it would make a lot more sense to just have that stuff being handled inside here. To me, that makes more sense. And in fact, all of the standard database stuff like fetching and deleting and selecting and counting and all of that, that can be in one separate model file. But I'm going ahead of myself. I was saying that there's another challenge with this that makes things even worse. The other challenge is that websites are not made up of these three things. Go to a real website and you will find CSS, JavaScript and a gazillion other things. Images, uh, perhaps videos, audio, maybe PDFs. These, along with all of this, are the things that make up web applications. So even once you've transferred these three things across, however painless or painful it may be, you still have all of this stuff to think about. This is the problem with MVC folks and I can understand why it's popular because a separation of concerns sounds cool and uh, I think that the team at Next were impressive. I think they knew what they were talking about but they were also working before the web, before we had, um, you know, elaborate websites with bandwidth issues and hosting companies and all of that stuff. So, whilst that structure may have been perfect for the next team back in whenever it would have been, the early 90s or something like that, it's not really going to hold up now, especially if you're in the business of building lots of web applications potentially even collaborating with other developers. So we need a new way. Uh, we need a better way to structure apps, right? And um, it's funny because if any of you think this video is sounding a bit patronizing, uh, don't be patronized because you'd be astonished at the amount of people who are still clinging on to this. I mean, even, I don't know what's going on with the Zen framework. I think it's finished. But I know a guy uses Zen and he, he's quite technically good and all of that and he's still using MVC. It's crazy, you know? So, let's talk about a better way to structure apps. Now, the first thing to know is that terminology is out of the window because nobody can really agree on terminology. So you'll see some people talking about components, bundles. I like the word uh, modules, but very often they're referring to the same thing. Basically a folder that contains a bunch of stuff. So one of the other patterns that came about, which I used for about, uh, let me think here. I used for about eight or nine years is HMVC. And HMVC is a huge improvement upon MVC. The H stands for hierarchical, so you can make yourself feel really intelligent by saying that you use hierarchical model view controller. But what it basically means is that each of these MVCs here go inside their own self-contained folder. So you would have an MVC for the contact form and you'd have an MVC for the discussion forum 
and all of those other features. So if you can imagine, this is a folder here and inside it, it contains these. Now that is indeed a dramatic step forward because it means that now we've, we've vastly improved things. If we build a site that has a nice shop, let's say, or uh, let's say a nice uh, contact form, then now we can grab this folder, take it across, little bit of setting up, and away we go. So HMVC is a vast improvement upon MVC, and I used it for a long, long time. Those who have given it a try generally don't look back. And funnily enough, um, there are indications that a lot of the web development community is moving towards this type of direction. But there's a problem with HMVC, and I've already mentioned what the problem is. The problem is that HMVC still does not solve this. So we've still got that problem, right? And the other problem, which HMVC does not solve at all, well, is that we're still using models, which at the very least creates ambiguity but I would say more likely causes us to repeat code. So that's a challenge, right? Therefore, this is good, it's an improvement, but I don't think it's quite there. So, an even better way? I think so. And it doesn't have a name yet. I'm sure I'm not the first person to figure this out, and maybe people can come up with a name. But if you could get a directory like this, let's say, but instead of having um, MVC files, so imagine that's a directory with a feature such as a, a contact form or whatever, right, or a, a, a shop or anything at all, right, maybe an invoice system, right, well, what if, instead of just having MVC going on, what if we get rid of the M, because we don't really need it, and what if we replaced it with an A, and what does the A stand for? I'm just making this up as I go along, by the way. What does the A stand for? Assets. And what are assets? The answer is anything you like. All of this stuff here, that's assets. And more, actually. Could keep going on and on and on. Now, if you could get a web structure that's like that, AVC, I like the sound of that. Well, now you've solved this problem here. And because you no longer have a model file, you can have a like one model file as part of the framework to handle um, basic data sanitization and running queries safely and all of that stuff. That's not a problem. So now we don't have any of the models challenges either. And so now, your entire feature, let's say, whatever that feature may be, is in one self-contained folder. So if you want to reuse something, then you can just copy that folder, paste it into another site, and if all is well, everything will just work. Now, some of you will look at that, and if you've been following what I'm saying, you'll think, well, that has all sorts of challenges to do with 
how do you root things? How do you get the browser to figure out how to f know where the images are and all of the other stuff? Well, you don't need to worry about that because if you've got a good framework, it should figure that stuff out automatically and it is possible. I've built one actually. So how are we feeling about that? Does that feel like a good solution? What do you reckon? Is it perfect? I would say not quite. It's not quite perfect because even though we've now included the controllers, the views, and now this generic assets thing gone across, there's one thing, one absolutely critical thing that we've still missed out. And can you guess what it is? Yes, indeed. The one thing we've missed out is the fact that features often have database tables. What use is an online discussion forum if you don't have a database table or tables all set up and ready to go? Now don't get me wrong, you can add CSS and everything. But if you move that across and you don't have the database up and running, then you're not quite at the promised land just yet. Therefore, this is kind of nice, but it's not quite there. We need an even better way than that. So, let's see if we can have better still. Now at this point, by the way, as we have this conversation, hello, how do you do? Oh, nice to see you. Nice to see you. We have now left the PHP community away up here somewhere. They're all still wrestling with this stuff. We are now going into regions where no PHP framework has gone before. So, a better still option would be if we could have something like this plus an automatic database setup wizard of some sort. That would be kind of cool. Now if you could add, let's say, security and uh, ability to edit uh, and a few other things onto this setup wizard. Well, what does that mean? That means that you would now quite literally be able to grab that, say it's a feature of some sort, whatever it may be, a quotation system, anything at all, and you'd be able to go copy, paste, and that would be it. Of course you'd have to add a little line of code or two, maybe some HTML, you might need to run through the database setup wizard, but the point is, this is as close to the holy grail as you are ever going to get. 